am Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 716. I love is a company that does a lot of iPod docks and speaker systems, and now they're targeting those of you who can sleep through anything. A leaf blower outside your window, a fire alarm, your alarm clock. If you need a jolt in the morning, you could either get one of Jeff Smith's ringtones. Hello? 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 or get iLove's newest product, the IMM-178. Not only is it an alarm clock with an iPod dock, it also has a bed shaker. That's right, I said a bed shaker. A bed shaker with speakers. It'll be $90 when it's released. As we all know, magazines and newspapers are scrambling to stay on top with the move towards digital content. They seem to be hoping the iPad is what'll breathe new life into the industry. Condé Nast is rearing to go and getting versions of Wired, GQ, Vanity Fair, and The New Yorker, and Glamour on the iPad all by the end of summer. We're going to be talking a lot more about the magazine and newspaper businesses in coming days. But until then, I want to hear from you. Do you read newspapers or magazines in paper form? Will you switch to digital versions? Even more important, will you view the sites on the mobile browser or will you pay for the content? Leave a comment at geekbrief.tv slash 716. Infinitech announced their IUM at CES and we finally have a release date. IUM stands for Infinite USB Memory Drive. It's a USB drive that doesn't actually store any information on itself. It uses the Wi-Fi connection on your laptop, connects to that, and then allows your files to be easily shared across the network. Since it's not storing any data, the only limit to the capacity is the size of your hard drive. You can share everything or choose only certain things. You can stream your music, your movies to your TV, and Infinitech promises uninterrupted playback. This works on anything that has a USB drive and they claim it's future-proof. In their words, if one day they make microwaves that have a USB port in them, you'll be able to use your IUM to make your popcorn as well. It'll be available July 1st to the US, Canada, and Europe for under $129. The Morph Pad from Pelican isn't meant for us end consumers. It's a touchpad slash keypad slash mp3 controller slash video game controller. They're targeting OEMs and their goal is to get their technology into other companies' products. They'd probably do pretty well selling it directly to us geeks, but we're looking at something that may find its way into products we'll soon buy. Take a look at it in action. You use this mode, it can also change to this. If you want to use your mp3 player, if you want to call eventually, and if you want to play gaming, you use this mode. And it could also be implemented with a touch screen. So, if, for example, you can use it, the keypad as a mouse. So you can see here. You can just scroll and just use it as a trackpad. Lastly, remember that embargo video you all loved so much on the last brief? I somehow totally missed seeing who created it. I figured it out. It was Steve O'Hare who writes for The Guardian, ZDNet, Macworld UK, and co-founded The Last 100 blog with Richard McManus as part of the Read Write Web Network. That video is still making me laugh. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye! Ready yet?